The terms machine learning and deep learning are being used interchangeably, but how are they different? Let's take a look at that in this video. If you have taken my data science Kickstarter course, you are familiar with the term machine learning and where it belongs in the world of artificial intelligence. Machine learning is basically one approach to artificial intelligence, which is in turns itself a part of computer science. And if you've not taken my course, you can go in the description. I will leave a link for you there. So where does that leave deep learning though? Then what is deep learning? So, well, deep learning is actually just one approach or one way of solving machine learning problems. So it's a specific type of machine learning solution. Let's say we have the traditional machine learning uh, algorithms. This could be support vector machines, uh, decision trees and things like that, that uh, do not require a lot of computational power. Whereas then we have deep learning algorithms, which can be convolutional neural networks, or just deep neural networks and similar algorithms and techniques that require some special treatment, let's say. <laughs> so uh, I would like to tell you more about how are they made different. So the first thing is how they are different in terms of how they're structured. So machine learning algorithms, as I said, is most of the time it's one algorithm and you can kind of write down how the, how the algorithm works, how it learns. And it's just this one big compound structure that works and learns. Whereas deep learning algorithms are kind of stacking things on top of each other. So we have one thing called a neuron, which is something that gets an input, calculates something and gets a, puts an output out. Then we put all of these neurons together and we make a layer and we stack all of those layers on top of each other or one after each other and we make a deep neural network. So th that's basically how it works. That's basic, basically the main uh, structure difference between machine learning algorithms and deep neural networks or deep learning algorithms. But what is the difference in terms of how they learn, if you ask, then it's a little bit more interesting. So a normal training, a normal machine learning algorithm, how it learns is you get some sort of data and then you have to extract features from this data. So, you know, maybe you have some information about if an email is fraudulent or not. So you might have an email and you have to look into, you have to extract some features like how many links are there in this uh, email, how many words are used, what kind of words are used, and you have to make it kind of into like a structured table, and then you give it to your machine learning algorithm. Whereas for deep learning, you can just kind of throw your data <laughs> at the deep learning algorithm, of course, you still need to prepare it and everything, but really with minimal effort, you can just throw your um, data into the algorithm and then it will be able to learn things. But of course, there's still some differences. So it's not like, oh, both are the same. One of them requires feature engineering, the other one is not, right? If that was the case, then everyone would be using deep learning algorithms. But there's also another different difference, which is that because deep learning algorithms can learn immediately from the data, they require more examples. So let's say if you could train a decision tree with 500 to 1,000 examples, you would need a bunch of 1,000, like maybe 10,000, 20,000 examples because what the deep learning algorithm does is it looks at the data as a whole. This could be an email, this could be structured data too, or this could be an image and tries to understand what should I look at? What are the features that I should be looking for? in itself uh, without kind of asking any input from the user, or asking any input from the human, it decides this. And to be able to do that, it requires a lot of examples. So when you think about it, when we're children, we also need this, right? So we look at something and we're like, what is this? And then your dad or mom is like, oh, that's a cat. Next time you see another animal, you're like, is this a cat? And they're like, yeah. Now from then on, you can distinguish between cats and dogs, but for machines, they need a little bit more examples for that. Basically, it's, it's more or less the same uh, process that's happening. But at the end, the machine will need a little bit more examples. Well, a lot more examples <laughs> to be able to recognize these patterns. This is, of course, an amazing thing to have. It really sounds like a dream. But as I said, it comes with a price. Then you have to have more computational power or you have to have uh, 
a lot more and sorry not or <laughs> you have to have a lot more computational power and you have to have a lot more examples and that's actually one of the reasons why deep learning was not part of real life until like 10 12 ish years ago and you know in the last 10 years we've seen it like everywhere we're not even aware of where it's been used it's just everywhere recommender systems uh, machine translation everywhere basically uh, but the problem was that first we didn't have enough data and the second problem was that we did not have enough computational power to make it feasible to train these models but now we do and that's why we are able to work with them and we can actually implement them as part of our, our life we can use them in our everyday apps and phones and everything so uh, just to quickly wrap up what we learned is the difference between machine learning and deep learning is first, with machine learning algorithms, you have to extract the features yourself manually from the data, whereas for deep learning algorithms, you don't have to do that. Uh, but in the flip side, for deep learning algorithms, you have a lot of, you need a lot of computational power and you need a lot of data. Whereas for machine learning, but what I mean is traditional machine learning algorithms, you do not need that much data, so not tens of thousands of data. And you also do not need that much computational power. A normal machine learning, traditional machine learning algorithm will be able to run on your laptop without any big problems. Uh, one other thing that I've seen online that people mention as a difference between machine learning and deep learning is that you get a lot of options to try in terms of algorithms, a lot of options to try when it comes to traditional machine learning algorithms. Whereas for deep learning, you don't get that. Um, I, I don't know if I agree with that per se, because there are a lot of different types of deep learning algorithms and they're being developed every day. But in terms of accessibility, in terms of how many different algorithms you can set up and use really quickly, then I would have to agree with it because you can easily set up five, six, maybe even 10 different algorithms on your laptop and then try your, a solution on your problem on these different algorithms. Uh, whereas for deep learning, it already takes a really long time to set up one, maybe two, um, by yourself. So that's why in terms of accessibility and feasibility, then I would have to agree with it. You get more algorithms that you can try with machine learning, traditional machine learning, whereas not that many for deep learning. So there you have it. It is no surprise that everyone is really excited about deep learning and there is a lot of research being done into deep learning, how to make them faster, how to make them more efficient and more accurate. Uh, if you also want to become part of the group or the community that understands how deep learning works and also one of the people that can apply deep learning in their work, in their job, or maybe you want to get a job in the future where you can apply deep learning and you want to get some skills beforehand, uh, make sure to go in the description and check out my course. It is not out yet as of today that I'm speaking, but maybe by the time you're watching this video, it will be out already. If the course is not out yet, you can sign up and get emails on the updates of the course. And maybe in the future, while the course is coming out, some discounts too, but I'm not sure about that yet. <laughs> um, and if the course is out, I will highly, highly encourage you to go enroll in the course. And Again, if you liked my video, if you like how I teach things, I would really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up or maybe subscribe. Uh, you can also let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like, to, uh, you would like me to make next. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you around.